YT Dan Duel Links is brought to you by dank duelists like you. Become a YouTube member to never miss. What's going on my boys? YT Dan back again with another Duel Links video. Today we're going to be getting in there to talk about some of the new cards that have come out in the recent mini box, uh, the Fortress of the Gears. And I haven't really got a chance to talk about these new cards or really experiment or play with a lot of these cards recently. But a lot of people wanna know my opinion and a lot of people have been enjoying those opinion videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you guys a deck list. Also, talk about this card a little bit why this archetype is so good and why it should not be ignored. But my boys, if you enjoy this kind of video, I want you to hit the like button and subscribe for new Yu-Gi-Oh! Legacy of the Duelist PVP Ranked Tilt whenever it's uploaded. So hit that like button and subscribe for your boy today. Now listen, Machina Fortress, one of the most powerful machine monsters that we have received in Duel Links recently. One of the most powerful. And you might say, Dan, but why? Why is this card so good? I can hear you in the back row asking me that with your cards face now. I'll tell you why, my boy. This card is incredible because you can discard machine type monsters whose total level equals eight or more, then special summon this card from your hand or the graveyard. So uh, that first sentence you might not think is all that important. But that first sentence means everything to this deck and to this archetype. This card says you can discard machine type monsters whose level equals eight or more, then special summon this card from the hand or the graveyard. What does that say? That says discard Machina Fortress and one other card to special summon this card from the graveyard. So basically, with this and any other machine, you can special summon this card for basically nothing. And then there's another Machina monster, Machina Megaform. You can tribute this card to special summon one Machina monster from your hand or deck, or deck. If a face-up Machina Fortress monster you control is sent to the graveyard while this card is in the graveyard, you can banish that Machina Fortress monster from the graveyard to special summon this card. Incredible. But you might say, Dan, that's a brick. Why would I want to play two big monstrous bricks? Sure, I can discard one monster to summon another. No. Then you're not ready. Because there's another monster, my boy. The Machinas don't stop. Machina Soldier. Now Machina Soldier says when this card is normal summon and you have no other monsters, you can special summon one Machina monster from your hand except Soldier. So you can summon Soldier and special Mega Form. You can summon Soldier and special Fortress for free. Now we haven't gotten into the rest of Fortress's effect, but just on that alone, these are easy free summons of a monster that's over 2,000 attack points, that's how near. That's almost all of your opponent's life points in Duel Links. 2,500, you might as well be dead if you take that direct. So with that being said, we're combining the Machina Force archetype with one card, Miss Worm. That's right. We're using Spore with what grows in the graveyard, for one card into Go uh, Goyo Defender, Goyo Defender into second Goyo Defender, then second Goyo Defender into Miss Worm, blow all the cards back, use Machina Fortress's effect, special summon attack for game. Or we can special summon the Machina Fortress and then use the Angel Trumpeter to bring back to bring back the plant tuner in the plant monster in the grave synchro that up for Brionic, the dragon of ice discard discard machina fortress to blow a card back to your opponent's hand from the graveyard drop the machines to special summon it's going to cost all the cards in your hand but you're going to win the duel disgusting 
On that same token, we're running two hate true nades because this deck just loves to get rid of back row and attack for game. Miss Worm, hey true nade is enough to clear everybody's board. Gotta be aware that Karibo um, and Kite Roy and other things like that might come and uh, and pretty much jack you up. But you don't have to worry about that all the time because a lot of people are just running aggro decks and they're not playing that right now. So can this card get this deck? Can it be blocked by a deck like with this running um, Element Saber Invoked? Sure, because they can break up the combos. Also, they can summon a monster that doesn't target. That's fine. But for the one guy playing that, that's just an L you'll take. But for everybody else with a weak start, everybody else who opens up with some sort of non-responsive back row, you can win the game easily with Miss Worm and Machina Fortress. And the reason why I haven't talked about the rest of the effect is because now we're gonna talk about it in the case that your opponent happened to survive your initial onslaught. After this card has been summoned, if this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard, you can target one card your opponent controls and destroy that target. And then before resolving an opponent's monster's effect that targets this card face up on the field, you can look in your opponent's hand and discard a card. If your opponent tries to Kanadia this thing, you get to take a card out of their hand. If they try to Econ this, you take a card out of their hand. This, the Machina Fortress monster is ridiculous. That's why it's an ultra rare, but it's in the mini box. This is the, the sleeper deck that people need to start playing. And I really feel like running Mistworm, running Brionic is definitely viable options. Now, let's just say you don't want to do that. We have some alternatives for you, my boy, because I know for a fact that you guys are loving the idea of blowing all my all your opponent's cards back and swinging in for game on the second turn. I know you're enjoying that right now. But another viable option is to go ahead and run Psy Reflector and use Assault Mode Activate. With Assault Mode Activate, you'll be able to Synchro Summon and go right into Brionic or go right into other cards that can clear the field and then Special Summon your big boys and run the cards over. And when your opponent puts out cards that you can't handle, and you have a 2500 beat stick on the field and you have this card in the graveyard when you smack this monster into your opponent's monster and it and it dies when you use machine of fortune to smack your opponent's smack your, into your opponent's monster and it dies you get to take a card from them and then if this card is in the graveyard you can banish this and special summon this It's incredible. It's absolutely incredible. My boys, I hope that you really, really enjoy this deck. And also I would say, try this deck in Ancient Gears. Try putting it within Ancient Gears to get the boost from Gear, uh, I forget what it's called, uh, Gear Town or Ancient Gear Fortress or something. I forgot what it's called, but use Middle Age Mix with Ancient Gears so that your Machina Monsters get a boost is gonna be incredible, my boys. This is crazy too. Soldier summoning a monster for free. Like that's just the one that really kills me. Soldier, a 1600 monster can summon a monster for free. And I think the bonus that you get with um, the ancient gear um, spell card, I think it's like 300 or 500 or something like that. I don't remember. But basically with middle age mechs, that makes this card like 1900, I think. Yeah, I think it's like I think it's like 300 Then it makes it like 1900 and then you get the special summon of 2800 from the hand Get out of here. All right, my boys. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of this video I also have uh, just a, a quick clip for you to watch and enjoy But I really hope that you guys enjoy this deck and enjoy the rest of the video and for the rest of the day always keep it dank